Hello, thank you for coming to this session. In this session, I will share our work about scalable AutoML for time series forecasting using Ray and Analytics Zoo. I am Ding Ding from Intel, and I am a machine learning engineer in Big Data Group, focusing on developing Analytics Zoo. This is the agenda of the session. First, I will introduce the background, and next, I will talk about scalable AutoML for time series on Ray and Analytics Zoo. And at last, I will share some of our user cases and learnings. OK, let's come to the first part, the background. At Intel, we have been focusing on building various technologies to bring AI on big data. We have open sourced a, deep learning, a distributed deep learning framework for Apache Spark. It's called BigDL. It has feature parity with other popular deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, Keras. And on top of the deep learning frameworks, we also developed a high-level unified analytics and AI platform, and it's called Analytics Zoo. Analytics Zoo integrated the deep learning frameworks as well as the distributed frameworks like Ray, Apache Spark, Flink. And with Analytics Zoo, we are able to provide end-to-end -end unified pipelines to our users. Here is a high-level overview of Analytics Zoo. As I said in last slide, Analytics Zoo integrated the low-level deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, as well as the distributed frameworks like Spark, Flink, and Ray. Analytics Zoo can be run on your laptop and without any code change. It can be run on your, uh, on your big data cluster. You can run Analytics Zoo on your Kubernetes cluster, your Hadoop cluster, or Spark cluster. Basically, there are three layers inside the Analytics Zoo. At the bottom layer, we have a end-to-end -end pipelines layer. It allows users to apply their deep learning and AI models to big data cluster. For example, a lot of our users are running distributed TensorFlow on Spark in Analytics Zoo. And on top of the end-to-end -end pipelines layer, we have a ML workflow layer. This layer helps users automate many manual tasks, which I will talk about in next section. And on top of the ML workflow layer, we provide a set of built-in models and algorithms for recommendation, time series, computer vision, and NLP. Users can directly use these built-in models and algorithms in their applications. Also, Analytics Zoo provides native support for users to build their own deep learning and AI models. One thing I would like to stress here is Analytics Zoo allows users to use any standard TensorFlow and PyTorch model and, transpa and transparently scale these models to their big data cluster. So what's time series forecasting? Time series forecasting has been one type of problem we have been dealing with for quite a while. The problem can be defined as given all history observations from Y1 to YT, we need to predict the values of next H steps from YT plus one to YT plus H. Also in theory, we can use all history T observations usually we often using the previous case steps, which is often called as looking back period, as illustrated in the right figure. There are various methods to solving the time series forecasting problem. For traditional methods, we have autoregression, exponential smoothing. These traditional methods are relatively simple but are not very good at capturing the complex temporal relationships across in time series. And recently, machine learning and deep learning are becoming more and more popular. Unlike the traditional methods, 
the new machine learning and the deep learning methods are usually data driven. And uh, some models for the deep learning methods, such as um, LSTM, GRU temporal convolutions has been applied to time series. And there is evidence that the machine learning and the deep learning methods can outperform the traditional methods in several well-known competitions and real-world applications. Also, machine learning and deep learning can do well in time series forecasting. It's not an easy job to train a machine learning and deep learning model. And that's why AutoML is gaining popularity recently. The purpose of AutoML is making it easier and more efficient to build a machine learning and deep learning pipelines. AutoML can automate various machine learning pipeline stages, such as feature and engineering, model selection, optimization, and evaluation. Also, AutoML can be used for hyperparameter searching. In Analytics Zoo, we have chosen Raytune as the backend to implement our AutoML support. Raytune is a library on Ray for experimental execution and hyperparameter tuning. And Ray is a distributed framework for emerging AI applications. Ray and Raytune are developed and open sourced by UC Berkeley Rice Lab. And Ray on Spark, is a feature in Analytics Zoo. It's designed to allow users to directly run Ray programs on big data cluster. So with Ray on Spark, we are able to run our AutoML enabled solution on your Spark cluster without the need to care about how to manage these two frameworks. Okay, that's all about the background. And the next, I will talk about the core part. This is a high level overview of time series support in Analytics Zoo, and the time series solution is highlighted in yellow. At the bottom part, there is a general AutoML framework. It provides abstractions of machine learning pipeline stages. So we provide feature generation, model selection, hyperparameter tuning. And on top of the general AutoML framework, we provide building algorithms and the models specifically for time series. We have anomaly detection, we have forecasting, and on top of these supports, users are able to build their own time series solutions based on their various scenarios. As shown in on the right side, there are three major components inside our AutoML support. We first, we have rich models and algorithms, including the statistical state-of-art models. And second, we have AutoML support, so you can automate it, your training process. And at last, we provide seamlessly scaling the automated training process to your big data cluster. Let's dive a little bit into the software stack. In our AutoML framework, there are four components, feature transformer, model, search engine, and the pipeline. Feature transformer and the model can be considered as black boxes, which takes in hyperparameter configurations to construct the internal pipeline and control the execution process. Specifically, Feature transformer can be used for feature generation, rescaling, selection, and the model can be used for single model training and the multiple model selection. Search engine is responsible for generating different hyperparameter combinations. It will spawn the trials, schedule the trials, and keep track of the trials in the Ray cluster. We have implemented a Raytune search engine to enable the search capabilities on top of Raytune. And when the search finished, a pipeline will be constructed from the best hyperparameters and the trained model. Above the AutoML framework, 
we have implemented the, a class named Time Sequence Predictor. It's used to create and launch the automated training process. We also implemented a time sequence pipeline class for the pipeline output. The pipeline can be saved to files and restored later for inference or incremental training. This is an illustration of the whole training process of the whole training workflow. Basically, the search engine will drive the entire training process. At construction time, it will take in the feature transformer and the model. Also, it will take in a search presets. At runtime, the search engine will generate different combinations of hyperparameters based on the search presets. The search engine will spawn the trials and, and schedule the trials on the ray cluster. Each trial will run a different hyperparameter combination. And when it ends, it will write the results into HDFS. And when all trial ends, the results will be retrieved from HDFS and analyzed. And, that that, and after that, a pipeline will be constructed from the best hyperparameters and the trained model. Here is a glimpse of the APIs. To train a pipeline, first we need to create a time sequence predictor. And after that, you just need call fit on it to launch the automated training process. There is a parameter named recipe. It's, uh, which is used to configure how to do the hyperparameter search. In Analytics Zoo, we have provided several kinds of recipe for your convenience, but you can also implement it your own. There is another parameter named distributed. It indicates whether to run the training process on a single node or on a cluster. And uh, the feed function will return a pipeline. The pipeline can be saved to file and uh, load back later. The pipeline also provides API like evaluate, predict for the evaluation and uh, inference. The pipeline also provides API like fit for incremental training. Next, I would like to introduce a new project we built on top of our AutoML time series in Analytics Zoo. The name of the project is Zou, and it's created specifically for teleco applications. In Project Zou, we have AutoTS, so we have AutoML support for building end-to-end -end time series analysis pipelines. We also provide built-in models for time series analysis in Project Zou without AutoML support. And uh, Project Zou also includes, uh, also inclu includes some time series user cases. You can find more information about Project Zou in the bottom link. Okay, let's come to the last part. It's about the user case sharing and the learnings. First, I would like to introduce the reference user case in Project Zou. It's about network tra traffic KPI forecasting. In this reference user case, we have used a public data set which contains the real world network traffic data. We used the aggregated traffic KPI like total bytes, average rate as the example target for forecasting. And we use the data in the past week to forecast the KPI in the next two hours. We have provided two notebook examples. <coughs> Sorry. We have provided two notebook examples to show how to use the API to solve the time series forecasting problem. In one notebook, we use the built-in forecast models, while in the other notebook, we use the AutoTS module, which have built-in AutoML support. You can check out 
uh, these two example notebooks in the hyperlink if you are interested. Now let's take a look at this user case. This is a project we previously collaborated with SK Telecom. We built a time series based network quality prediction pipeline for them. In this user case, SK Telecom want to use the KPI forecasting to identify the potential anomalies in their cells and the base stations. And they use the results generate alerts in their three dimension map. In this user case, um, we have a similar forecast model in Analytics Zoo, and it's proved to outperform the traditional methods. Uh, you can check out the bottom link to find more details about this user case. Another user case I would like to talk about is we built a forecast-based analysis for AI ops system for new, for new software. NewSoft is a IT service provider. And what they want to do is use the KPI forecasting and the anomaly detection to monitoring their to monitoring the metrics of their service. And in this user case, um, they use our auto ML solutions and they get an and they get an a result accurate in a relatively sh short time. Also, you can check out the button links to find more details about this user case. At last, I would like to talk about our future work. We have been working on solving the problems of extremely high dimensional time series. We are also uh, improving our search algorithms and uh, we are adding more models and features based on our customers' requests. Also, we are thinking about the possibility of adding automatic data pre-processing to improve the data quality, um, especially for the missing value. That's all about my talk. Thank you very much. <laughs>